Ken, and as you've already pointed out, this is just absolutely the greatest domestic assembly, I would think, in any one race ever conducted in Australia between Australians. Matkovic in one, Kowalski two, Klim three, Thorpe four, Hackett five, Kirby six, Pearson seven, and the great one, Kieran Perkins, in lane eight. Three from WA in the final. One of them is Anthony Matkovic. Anthony is the only one in the field tonight that didn't get a start in the Pan Pack Australian team. The other seven were there. So Anthony really looking to make his first Australian team. Kowalski, what a comeback. He's had shoulder problems. He's now in lane two at this final, as you heard. Top six and he's there. He'll be over the moon. He's a bronze medalist in this event at the 1996 Olympic Games. Swam just slower than his PB in the semi last night. So he's obviously in good form for the sprints. They're all talking about the top six. Eight doesn't go into it. Michael's ready. World champion. Won the 200 metre free in Perth at the 98 World Champs. But on the clock last night was blown away by Thor. Well, I think in his own semi-final, he probably had a bit left. Let's hope for tonight. There's nothing left to say. Including the Pan Packs. And this meet here at the International Centre, he's broken six world records. Is this to be number seven? And if you include the short course, he's been a part of ten world records since Commonwealth Games. Maybe the greatest swimmer ever. Former world record holder and defending champ. He's gone 147 behind Thorpe in the semi-final. Looked like he was swimming slow, but he wasn't. Thorpe was just swimming amazingly fast. Grant Hackett, 20 years of age. It's hard to believe these guys are still so young. They've done so much. As Ray said, he is the defending champion in this event. Now, this is the sleeper, Bill Kirby. Of course, he's a member of that world record team from the Pan Packs, the 4x2. But I reckon he's on the improve. He did his best time in the semi. He's gone 148 again this year at the ACT meet. Trains at the AIS. I think he could be pushing it to get into the top two if he can. Like all of them, Todd Pearson, another one of the AIS squad from WA, also did his PB in the semi. Should point out as well that Don Talbot is still talking that if they all go under 150, he might take the eight of them through and use a fresh team in the final. Well, wouldn't this be nice if the big KP can qualify, get in the top six, or top eight if he's quick enough. That'd take the pressure off him for the 15. He was pretty good in the semi, 150.67. His PB is 148.9. He's got confidence back. He's happy with his speed, his sprinting ability. Oh, what a race. What an ovation. Seven of the eight fastest Australians all time lining up at the Sydney International Aquatic Centre. Two of them will go through to the individual contest at the Olympics. The only man missing from the top eight is Duncan Armstrong, and he won a gold medal. Perkins nearest to it. Take your marks. And away, the 200-meter freestyle for men. Glamour event, possibly the event of the meet. Perkins in eight, Pearson in seven, Kirby in six. Hackett, first of the yellow lanes. Thorpe in lane four. Really, Klimmer serving it up to him in lane three. Kowalski top of the screen. Matkovic is out of the aerial shot. Down they go, and we watch the split time for world record purposes. Is this to be number seven for Ian? He goes through. 0.40 underneath his own world record split time. And look at Klim. He's serving it up to him. The bald head of Klim, the black suit of Thorpe. They're already three parts of a body length in front of Hackett. And then comes Kirby from Pearson. And Kowalski is next. As I thought, Klim and Thorpe taking it out. Hackett looks like he's spinning his stroke a little bit right now. But he had to take it out, Klim, like this to Thorpe because he'll come home really well. Now he's 1.01 under world record time. He's loving this. He's loving the contest. Klim is giving it to him. And Thorpe has him in his eyeballs. They go down the pool. This is the end of the third lap coming up in 12 metres. It is Thorpe. He's got him in his sights. Michael Klim on his right. The others are a body length away. Headed by Hackett. Then comes um, 
A further back is Kirby Pearson and Kowalski. They come round. They're 0.94 under. He was 0.17 over last night. He's going to smash it. He's going to smash it. Here comes Sloppy. Down he comes. 20 metres to go. There's the world record indication right behind you. Clem's just slipping off at Thorpe, still ahead. It's catching him. One of the all-time greats. He's spoken about like that right now. Maybe the swimmer of the century. He goes in, and it's there. It is there. It is world record again and again and again for this incredible man. Or is he a man? Maybe he is a super fish because that's what he's doing. That's a scary thing. He's still just a boy. He's just 17 years of age. He just dives into the pool and he breaks the watch. What about the pacemaker? How gallant was he? Michael Klim, he blew him away in the last lap. Klim did what he had to do. He had to go with Thorpe. He couldn't do anything but do that. Look at Klim butterfly kicking in the final stages when he started to fatigue. But Thorpe really took off. You saw that world record line start to catch him. He's beaten it by 0.18. He held his stroke together really well. You can see he's got a bit of a pink colour on his face. That means physical exertion, obviously. Silly thing to say, I know. But normally Thorpe looks so calm even after breaking a world record. Here's there's the line. The, there's the timeline, the virtual timeline. Trying to catch him. Trying to get him. Can't get him. World record again. Number seven for the Pan Packs and here. And he says the suit's not making any difference. Couldn't That's blow. even more awesome. Couldn't blow out a candle as well. Look at him. I'd love to see him finish a race and not be able to get out of the pool. How fast would he be swimming then? Well, ladies and gentlemen of the sports fraternity, boys and girls, you are watching a man that they'll be talking about Centuries from now, Don Talbot, he's getting a standing ovation, the Thorpedo. Why wouldn't he? Talbot said at the end of 99, he may well be the swimmer of the century. And my goodness, that encompasses a lot of big, big names. We have got an international swimming megastar right here now. Ian Thorpe with Rob Woodhouse. Ian Thorpe, another day, another world record. I seem to remember saying that yesterday. How do you refocus day after day, world record after world record? Um, I think it's not too hard to refocus and you know, bring everything back together when uh, Olympic position's on the, on the stake. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm really working towards, having the opportunity to race in the races that I want to do at the Olympic Games. So there was a lot of incentive out there tonight. Now, here you had a bit of light reading this afternoon, about a thousand hero faxes or something like that? Yeah, something like that. So thank you everyone that's um, you know, sent their support. It's really helped and uh, it's very uplifting when you're you know, feeling, feeling a little bit down, feeling a little bit tired and knowing that there's that much support here in Australia. Well, fantastic. And the bloke on your left really took it out there, Michael Klim. Fantastic swimming. You've sealed that uh, individual spot in the Olympics. Yeah. I thought the best I could do was stick to my race plan which is go out hard you know that's my strength and as the saying goes i gave it to myself and it paid off tonight now what can you say about, about a bloke like thorpe breaking all these world records and you're right next to him well i was hoping that he'd sort of grab me along and pull me <laughs> pull me towards the wall in the last 50 but um, i had to do it myself but he's he's just awesome so he's you know every day he's just getting better unbelievable well congratulations michael clem and thorpe fantastic world record and a gallant swim by michael clem well done so we take the spotlight away from the individuals just for a moment. Who was it that missed out? Perkins and Matkovic. They missed the six-man relay team unless Don Talbot gets his way. Thorpe, Klim, Hackett. One, two, three. And then Kirby, who was a member of the team and looks like he's going to be in the number one team on that time. Kowalski and Pearson. They make up the six. Kieran and Anthony missing, missing the final six for the relay.